Hello and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to show you how to install Windows 95 on QMU with the help of Amigui. So, this, uh, uh, there is a slight compatibility problem with the Windows 9X series on QEMU and therefore on Amigui, but that is a problem of the entire Windows 9X series and not just of Windows 95 uh, and window, uh, Windows 95, 95 is, is uh, the worst operating system to install on QEMU but as soon as you manage to get it running it's, uh, it should be usable but uh, in order to install it you are going to need external virtualization software QEMU and Amigui can't install Windows 95 alone. But before we actually do that, if you like this video at the end, you may like it and subscribe to this channel if you want to. Before we actually can get started, you first need to have QEMU and Amigui on your system. And that is uh, I for both Windows and Linux, I made videos. Links in the description. And also, as I said, there are some problems with Windows 95. You are going to need additional software to install this system. So, for that, if you actually, uh, if you just install Windows 95 for the sake of playing your old games, uh, then I, uh, then I, uh, then if. Uh, if possible, I would first try to install Windows XP, which is usable with QEMU and MGUI alone, but especially Windows 95 is a candidate for, the, for this. Oh, and I also got a Discord server. Just as a reminder, you may join it if you want to. For now, we will have to see for VirtualBox. You must go. Uh, I will use VirtualBox for that. You will need to use them. You can also use VMware Workstation if you want to. But for now, I will stick to VirtualBox. I do have a Windows 95 VM already, but I'm going to do it. We are going to uh, assume that you don't have one, so I delete it. Click on me, and also this is German for now. What I can, what I can do for you in order to make it. So I now set it to English for you. Okay, it's better that way. For now, click on new. Type in Windows 95. Let the worm as is. I can actually close out of this. Select where you want to store it. Uh, for me, it's the usual Windows 95 and we'll go here. Create a virtual hard disk now. Create VHD. It's important either VH to take either VHD or QCAL. You can. You. Uh, I will use. I will use VHD. And now click on create. Two gigabytes are enough, and more should be used anyway. For the empty disk. Choose a disk file. Ah, and for VirtualBox, you will also need the fast CPU fix, or else it won't work. But anyway, you should now choose your MS Stars file. I'm going to use MS Stars 7.1. That is um. 
this is uh, indeed not an official version of MS DOS. But, uh, yeah. Uh, in case of Windows 95, I recommend you to have at least uh, MS DOS 5. So, for now, MS DOS 7.10. Next. Next. Agree. To lightning turns. Continue. Create a partition and you must reboot. Next. Next. I agree. Continue. It's now going to check the partitions. Rewrite the MBR code. This is okay. Install. Create it. Uh, you can do the full installation, but you don't have to install the add ons. Click next. Press next. Add. You must not install access doors. Uh, I mean, you don't have to, but you may install access doors. If that is okay, install. It is now installing the necessary files. You may install. I actually forgot that I should have been trying to. Uh, just bear with this. I may. It is installed. You may, you may say yes to the DOS startup logo. I recommend you to do this. Enable UMB memory. Though both events power management is helpful. And you may continue. Select your language uh, keyboard layout. I will use code page 850, which includes the German keyboard layout. German and then extract the disk and rebuild. And as you can see, it includes the CD drivers. You will have to install them separately on older versions. Actually, start installation on Windows 9. The installation of Windows 95. Set up. That one is indeed bootable. Uh, I wouldn't count on it. In my case, the Windows 95 ISO file is bootable. I will create a folder called Win95 and redirect with the yeah, the slash W CD Win95 and copy everything to C. In 95. For that, you could have also used the original CD. For now, you are ready to turn off your virtual machine. With MGUI booted, with MGUI opened, click on New Virtual Machine and type in a suitable name Windows 95 i 36 Next, machine, next to image decide CPU, Pentium. RAM 64 megabytes. VHD path. Select the VHD from before. It is actually in the same. Uh, normally, it is in the same directory as your. Keep it is in the same directory as your uh, VM, VirtualBox VM. You can ignore everything else. Click next. Uh, I actually missed it. Click VHD with VDI. I just hope QM supports that as well. VGA, for VGA, select the uh, Service GPU Net for networking, select PC Net and leave the PS2 mouse. Click next, click next again. For the sound card, sound plus the 16, CPU calls 1, PS2 keyboard. Next, next. Additional arguments are not needed. 
It will take up to 10 seconds until it is shown. You don't need the CD bomb, we have copied it earlier. And start the VM. Cami will be the then boot, begin to boot in a few moments. Full screen, CD to Win95, and you will see a lot of files. Let's hope that it won't crash. CD to Win95, and type in setup.exe. Press enter. Now, if you're at this screen now, click on continue. And then you will face the following. Windows 95 setup. Setup is now preparing the Windows 95 setup wizard, which will guide you through the rest of the setup process. Please wait. Accept the license agreement. Click next. Click next again. Typical setup. Or if you use a non US keyboard layout custom, click next. Type in your product key. I will type in mine and then we will see. Type in your name and if necessary company. In my case it's Lucy Owen. Look for the hardware devices. For all for everything. Click next. And this is also going to take a few minutes. If there's no disconnectivity for a long time, turn your computer uh, turn your virtual machine off. And do not press Ctrl Delete, then turn it back on and set up and choose safe recovery when prompted. Preparing to restart the virtual machine. And uh, then there are some files that are uh, made later than the file that is to be copied. Yes! Yes! Now click on finish. Ah, it actually boots by itself. For the Pacific uh, uh, so select your time zone, apply, okay. Just click cancel, and okay. That feels like a native Windows 95. Despite the challenges, we managed to install Windows 95. And you know what this means. Nostalgia type. But this time only solitaire because, uh, you know, Windows NT crashed. And I don't want to risk it with yet another OS. And now, I'm going to say goodbye and see you in the next video.